I'm flashed. Yeah, there's two coming in. I'm fucked again. Next why you don't fuck with the Griffin. God! What is going on everyone, Griffin here coming at you with some Dahlia gameplay and today we're going to talk about the MXR being back in the meta. So let's head over and check it out. So the season 4 update is upon us and today we are going to talk about one of my most anticipated changes in the season 4 update which is the MXR changes. So the MXR changes that they actually did in season 4 was they decreased the max bloom, they decreased the bloom per shot and they decreased bloom recovery time. So back in the day, the MXR was the be-all, end-all DMR, in my opinion. I mean, the Mamba was good, the D3DI needed some work done to it, and the Aaron was, you know, your first-person, you know, option for using a DMR. Espe you know, especially whenever the game was first introduced when Phantom had it, and that was kind of Phantom's off-gun, other than, you know, of course, the primary was the sniper rifle, of course. But... The MXR was one of those weapons that, you know, it was released with the trench. A lot of people didn't run the MXR until Dahlia was released. And that's why I felt that it was appropriate to actually use Dahlia as kind of the jumping off point specifically for the weapon and the changes that they made in Season 4. And they they went through a lot of changes over the last, what, year, year or so with the MXR specifically because it was too good. You know, whenever Dahlia was released, people started gravitating towards the MXR because she had an SMG as her other weapon. And that kind of brought people into the know that this weapon is very good and very viable. Then you started seeing Dahlia trench pairs, you know, with MXRs, with the double grenades and all this kind of stuff. And it really developed its own early meta way back in the day. They made tons of changes to it. They made it to where, you know, it, it had more bloom, it had more recoil, you know, it did less damage, all this kind of... It's been through so many changes to where it kind of fell out of meta for a very long time. And now, with the changes that they've introduced in Season 4, to me, it feels like it's become a very viable DMR once again. I haven't seen a lot of people running the D3DI lately. I've seen a ton of people running the Mamba. To me, it feels like the Mamba is the be all end all right now. And I think that that weapon does need a little bit of Justin, in my opinion, so that it brings it down and brings it in more in line with the rest of the DMRs. But I think that the MXR now is in a good spot, and I'm very happy that it is in the position that it is in now. And I'm hoping that people start gravitating to it and start actually utilizing it a little bit more because you do have that really, you know, snappy, quick, you know, damage output with a DMR as opposed to a three round burst option with the Mamba or the little bit slower but heavier hitting D3DI. But to me, I'm very happy with the MXR changes. I very, very, very much enjoy the play style that you get with the MXR. And in this video, you see me run the MXR for about half the match. Then I swap over to the SMG. And the reason for this was because the team we were playing warranted a more aggressive play style. And, you know, DMRs don't really warrant a more aggressive play style unless you are running the Mamba. Um, you know, with the health, you know, regeneration delay and things other things that they introduced in season four it gives a little bit more of leverage by using a dmr but in this particular case it didn't feel you know it didn't feel like it was the right choice for the gunfights that i was being introduced into so that's why you'll see me swap halfway through but I, i'm very happy and i'm very excited that they made this change i think that this was something that needed to happen forever ago and i know that they don't want to create an mxr meta again that's the you know go to dmr in rogue company but i'm glad that they brought it up to a place to where it is now and i and i hope to see it embraced by other players i hope to see it embraced by the community and hopefully people will start running it more i know i'm going to start running it more because i feel more confident using it now as opposed to season three and season two so I really enjoy it, and I think it's a fantastic change, and this is just one of those, you know, small little things that they needed to do. They got in there, they got it done, 
It is what it is. We have a great weapon now. So be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Behind us in our fucking spawn. Oh, there's two of them. Lethal out. I'm flashed. Help. Yeah, there's two coming in. I'm fucked again. Next why you don't fuck with the griffin. I I should be able to blow that fucking C4 up the minute it leaves my fucking hand. God! I, only, I didn't know there were two up there. Yeah, I'm fucked. There's three right here. There's one over here close to me. Of course. Pick up the goddamn uh. one. Squiggle, they're pushing hard on that right side over there. Yes, they are. Lethal out. Hit her for 40. Down the middle lane. Right there. They're gonna push up on us. Fucked. I didn't know there was fucking fire here. Didn't see the fire. He's still there. Flash, okay. goddamn it. I'm dead. Oh, you got one goddamn down because I got flashed, you fucking piece that, of shit. That's some dog shit. Something's fucking up, dude. Looks like they heard. are too. Hugh Lori heard it. <laughs> right in the middle, ran to the left. We're up top. It's okay because I can't hit no fucking shots, dude. This is bull. Oh, yeah, goddamn! Oh, I got dropped oh. with a shotgun. Oh. He's got my weapon. Wow, this motherfucker's awesome. I'm going left this time. They're doing the mid-push again. How can you hit me, but I can't hit you? I got shot in the back right here. I got two of them. I'm in respawn queue. Shock's right here. God, what the oh shit! I hear it over here somewhere. I snapped my fingers. Um, no, it's not. It was him. Oh it's over shit! Here. Okay. Yeah. Hurt her. She's hurt. She's dropping off. No, she's still up there. She flashing. She. Oh my God! No, she's on me, dude. Are yeah, we fucking I got up here she jumped down. She was up there. Oh, Where the fuck did she keep going? Clean and simple. I'm snapping my fingers. Oh, I can't do that because it's taking his time. I hear her somewhere. She's right outside the door from me. You ain't gonna fucking kill me. Yeah, I don't know what OP aim assist they're talking about. I need to get me a mouse and keyboard. I want to huh. see this. I need to fix my fucking aim assist shit when we get to the lobby because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They hopped in. Yeah, they smoked it. There's one on right, one on left. That Twitter post today said that aim assist was fucked up. Not that it was. One's hurt really bad. 
Dude, what is that? Was the dumbest fucking barrel roll I just watched. They're reviving. I got flashed and fucked. He just charged up. Up here, she's in the window. Wind in the window, in the window, behind me. Right here. Utility out. <laughs> You don't have a will? An announcer. Like, there's no voice pack. Call yeah. them, uh, like, Call them the shots, yeah. Like on Arena or... That may not be by design. Oh, there's one up top. One's hurt. Opening door right there. There's one running around in the house up top. He just dropped out. Ooh, I just got fucking ganged up on, dude. <laughs> He's one shot. Dude, dude. He's I'm, got some fucking shots. Dude. I'm safe. Behind y'all. I'm safe. The Ronin. Stop sucking. Get up. Yeah, boy. I thought there's gonna be like chickens running around and shit. I just lost. I'm getting ganged up on. I'm dead. God damn it. I don't know how I missed that shit, dude. He's got a bat. I'm out behind you, Griffin. Oh, I ran out of bullets. On me. Went left. Oh, dude, no way. He's uh, he's got some. She comes. Oh, he's fucking in here. I'm down. I swung my axe and it did no damage. But she fucking wiffle ball bat me and I'm down. All right, there's one right down the street. Lethal out. Utility out. Snap him fingers. It's him. I just saw somebody. Back it back there. Oh, somebody go right through the smoke. Of course, I fucked up. I was silent stepping the whole time. <laughs> oh my god! We gotta watch out, Squeeze. Gonna win. Way. Yeah, let's just what let them. Let's just hold it. We're winning. You tried, motherfucker. Snapping. God damn. I'm dead. God damn it. I down two of them. She's down. Oh, yes. She's down. There's Chalk. I'm in respawn queue. Of course, who would do that? My god, he's almost dead. She's in the yeah, back yeah. back there. Lethal out. Okay. She's running. Yep, she's in front of me over here. <laughs> yeah. We fucking bow to your fucking down. superior, bitch. <laughs> bow to your superior. <laughs> I saw a video of a dude the other day that was talking about aim assist versus pass keyboard you know yeah the point he was making he's like think about this like when you're aiming with your with your mouse you have this whole flat 2d plane that you can move in and you can make small adjustments or big adjustments depending on what you want